Just got home from the show, very tired with very tired kids. But I figured I can go over all of my results and we can talk about them. And then in the next video, I can talk about what I'm going to do because of these results. But I found some Silver Fox people. I talked to some Californian people. I talked to some Rex people, even some mini Rex people. Like I found a lot of new friends and I loved it. And I got into contact with the Silver Fox Club around here and I am stoked about that because they are awesome, they're amazing. Um, I chatted their ears off a lot. But new friends all around and I absolutely love that. And this, like I said, the show was fun. So let's start with the most disappointing uh, results and then we'll work our way up to best. So let's talk about Eduardo. First judge was very nice about him. First judge said that his head and his ears were really good and that he had a nice shoulder and hindquarter, but his midsection could use some work, but uh, his density was good and that he still needs a bit of fleshing out and that he had good silvering. She also said that his coat needed some improvements, but that should come with age. Second judge tore him up. Oh, the judge did not like Eduardo. Basically, Eduardo was just a moot meh. And the only thing that he liked about Eduardo was the fact that he had some really good silvering. Overall, Eduardo did not place well in this competition compared to the last, which I understand why. The, um, the one chair member of the Silver Fox Club who brought her silver foxes were just, they were beautiful. She brought a blue in. Oh my gosh, and I know blues aren't showable, but you can get a judge's opinion on them. And that blue was gorgeous as well. Like I understand why Eduardo did not do well against these other rabbits. Those other rabbits were perfection. And Eduardo is okay, but he's not great. Next we have Emma. Emma did win one class on a technicality. And that's because I at first screwed up Lizzie's um, ear tattoo and it got me ah! DQ'd. Fixed it for the second show though because Lizzie is by far better than Emma. And even though Emma beat Lizzie, I talked to the judge and she 100% agreed that Lizzie is the better rabbit. But the notes that I got for Emma, and she did really well, but she didn't do great. She got a best of variety today, is that her midsection's a bit weak, uh, her shoulder needs some work, her density's not there, but she has really great texture and color. First judge loved her coat. Second judge also loved her coloring, but said she was too soft and density. And that Emma's underbelly coloring was not quite right. It was a bit off, but she didn't do bad. With Lizzie, which is my chocolate otter dough, and she is a junior. So I mentioned that I got DQ'd from the first show because I messed up the paperwork on the ear tattoo. I put a nine instead of a P because I'm dyslexic and I messed that up. With that being said, the first judge said if I didn't screw up the paperwork, she would have been the obvious winner and that it kind of sucked that I did that. So I fixed it for the second show. But for the first show, the judge absolutely loved her head, loved her ears, um, said she had a good shoulder and a good hind corner, that her density on her fur could use some work, but the texture was there, and that she had some really good coloration. She really liked her color. The second judge really liked this doe, uh, just called her solid. Said basically that her shoulder, her midsection, her hind quarters were just thick, and that he loved her. She's very well balanced. Um, he did say that her coat was a little too soft, and that she was a very pretty doe in the head but he did want to see some improvement on the fur type and uh, he would like to see a little more bounce back, especially if the guard hairs were a little more defined and that it might fix itself as she gets older. So really good reviews for Lizzie. I'm not surprised. Um, I actually have two people that um, asked if they could get on my wait list to get some kits out of her and preferably chocolate otter kits. So very pleased with Lizzie. And of course, the best out of the group, uh, Wiley. On show one, um, he had a large class and he got second place when it came to juniors. And the reason he got beat out was, uh, the judge said that he just didn't have the fullness that the other junior had. 
but that junior was also slightly older than him so i think that does take into effect but it's also the uh the one breeder i told you all about that brought in that beautiful blue it was one of her juniors that beat him out so i'm completely okay with that because the the fur on her animal was amazing but the first joe said that wiley had a good head uh pretty good ears but she'd like to see them more open meh on the density and the texture of his fur but that he had a great body and she really liked his coloring and that he was good fleshed and then the second <laughs> judge uh basically said that he was very good on everything shoulders midsection density texture just all good and he loved his silvering um he got best opposite and beat out quite a few seniors and intermediates so i'm very happy with wiley